Welcome to Mana Lords. Let's get to work. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to some of the core mechanics of the game, including regional development, trade, and military recruitment. We need more workers here. The map in Mana Lords is divided into regions. Each region has its own resources, as well as a development tree. When you upgrade the residential buildings in the region, you get development points, which you can spend to unlock new development branches. This means that different regions may specialize in different things. Some may be more optimized for farming, some for mining, and some will process the resources to make expensive goods, like shoes or clothing. Depending on the optimization of your production chains, the price of the goods will change, affecting work, the market attractiveness. Free merchants will travel more frequently to towns that have rare and more affordable goods. These merchants are the only way to get wealth in the game. Lord's treasury, however, is split from the regional wealth. As the lord or lady, you must tax your towns and villages in order to get money for your personal endeavors. There are different taxes giving various benefits. For example, the tithe goes straight to the church, but in return, the church gives you influence. Every so often, the king gives out valuable rewards to the most influential lords on the map, including new territories. You can compliment or insult other lords via the diplomacy system to affect their influence. The recruitment system in Manor Lords has been redesigned after some community feedback. It is now divided into three unit categories. First type of recruits are the peasant militia. You can call to arms the peasants from your villages. They grab whatever improvised weapons they have and join the fight. This will hit your economy and you'll need at least a couple of villages to form an army. If you want better militia, you must train them at the training camp or the archery range. The second type of recruits are mercenaries. They cost silver and a lot of it. The last type is Lord's Retinue. This is a limited, heavily armored unit that you can customize to your liking. Thank you for joining in for this short preview of Manor Lord's gameplay systems. If you're interested in discussing the game, be sure to visit Manor Lord's Discord and subreddit. See you all in the next video.